Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. Look how dirty this 2N is. No, I'm kidding you. This is the, the 800 in here right now. Uh, so, I haven't got the other one quite finished yet, but I wanted to get starting looking at this thing. But, uh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I hope that's this bolt here that's wore out, not the, uh, <laughs> not this piece here. Oh. Anyways, what I want to do today, what do I want to do today? What I want to do today is uh, on the other side here, we're going to jump over here. I think I want to start and see if I can get this cover off here and I think we should see our push rods in there I believe. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to nail, nail down the noise but uh, I don't know the noise was kind of like maybe I got a, another hole here or something. Somebody's fixed this though right so it all looks solid though so I think everything's fine and it doesn't really look like any leaks but it was definitely something hammering in this kind of area. It sure sounded like it. So I'm going to have a look in behind this cover. I think we're going to try to get that off today. And I don't know if that's going to show me those tappets or not in there. Uh, I don't really know what's in there yet. But I'm pretty sure we'll see. Well, you know what? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what actually is behind there now. Because I can't think of what would be behind, what would be behind there. So, But anyways, uh, let's see if we can get this cover off without too much headaches. I guess we'll have to take these uh, plug wires off and uh, try to keep them in order. That little wire hanging there, that's for the lights. Goes up to the lights that mount on the hood, so that's that's good. That's okay. Whoop. I've never seen an oil pressure hose like this, a plastic one. Goes all the way up into the oil pressure there, the oil pressure gauge. I thought it was kind of weird, but then they joined it down here with a tiny little wee fitting from, I guess, the metal that's buried in behind the hydraulic pump. Well, that looks like it's fun if you ever had to replace that. Although I don't think that's too hard to get off. There's bolts here and then bolts down onto here and the whole pump would just come off and it's gear driven. It's a big gear. I think it drives off the, um, I think it actually drives off the uh, flywheel if I'm thinking right flywheel gear so anyways someone's made up this is definitely not the right cover for there I don't even know what that was it looks like they've I don't know re-welded that back together gosh don't you just love other people's junk oh yeah I love it but I did paint that that looks pretty good that come out all nice and red and makes it look like rest look like crap but anyways uh, yeah I gotta figure out what the heck is going on here this uh, poor battery tray is in pretty rough shape you can buy new ones of them I don't know if I'll do that or not but this steering is definitely messed up I got it a bit tighter on the wheel here but uh, that side here is so screwed up over there and this one's actually not bad it doesn't really do any play with that one over there you're driving it going like this so there's something either broken or they repaired something in here and it broke again or it's just out of way out of whack or in that steering box I don't know but yeah you can buy those steering boxes new lots of money lots of money you guys uh, holy cow you wouldn't believe how much that costs for the steering box so and I probably could find one somewhere around here but it might not be any better than this one you know if you want it to be good you got to get it pretty much brand new they're actually, I think they're brand new. And there wasn't a place I found too that was rebuilds. So, but there is these adjustments here. And all that really adjusts was this. This is a little tighter now because the one on the other side was way out. So I adjusted it and I messed with both of them and it didn't change that at all. So something's wore out inside of there, I guess. So, anywho, lots of fun. Lots of fun. Anyways, this would be a pretty darn good tractor I think when she's uh, ready to rock as far as I know there's no leaks anywhere either so that's a good thing uh, but let's get some tools and we've got a little 
scraper prior here. We'll have to uh, get these bolts out of here. That should have another screw in it. It doesn't. It's probably not even the right bracket. That's actually, I think, got to ground out to there or something, or maybe it grounds. I can't remember how these things work now. So that one's going up here and probably to... Uh, Uh, all that again. That's going to the negative side of that coil. I want to replace that because I don't like these or that. <laughs> Green. It's going over here to the key switch, it looks like. Kind of feels like that's just about ready to break off there, anywho. So I will be rewiring the whole thing before I put the hood on just to freshen all the wires up. But, uh, anyways, let's get a tripod and uh, some tools and we'll get that cover off see what's going on inside there Before we start, one, two, oh, there's oil on that one, that's great, three, four, probably not the right order as I put them in there, but that'll work I'm sure. Uh, okay, so those are clear, I think everything else will be alright, there's a little clip here. I don't know if it was supposed to clip those at one point, but uh, yes, likely. Okay, what size are those? Look like a half inch, maybe. Let's grab, and I don't know if I got a, I want a fairly long extension in this kit. Grab an extension and a half inch, half inch. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hang on a sec here, I gotta go the other way. Half inch. We'll see. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, popping this open, I don't know if this is going to show me anything, but uh, we shall see momentarily here. I guess that could come out too. Oh, well, that wasn't too tight. Wow. No wonder it's probably not leaking. Not very tight at all, though, so three of them. Jeez, bud. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to show me really what I want to see in here. Probably not. I'm sure what I want to see, something that's either broken or wore out, is probably buried in the engine here. And I really don't know how far I want to take that. I'd kind of like to this to get the oil changed, maybe run it a bit, see if that noise would kind of go away, or try putting some Lucas oil into it, maybe. I don't know. Some Lucas might help. Like, I, I don't know when this had an oil change last. I mean, it could be years. And hopefully that they didn't just run it low on oil. And that's something else making funny noises. Because it doesn't look the greatest. It's kind of slimy, like muddy looking. So that's why I really want to take off the... Uh... Darn it, I didn't bring a towel. I really want to take off the... Uh... Oil pan when I drain the oil out, clean out the muck. Oh, well, that wasn't on there too well either. Well, there we go. There's a huge ass gasket in here. It's all cork, solid cork. Looks like that was not too bad sealed though. And yeah, that's just showing me the lifters. That's uh, not really showing me what I was kind of hoping it would. I wanted to actually see if I could get into the tappets, but they're. Quite a bit down lower, I guess, just above the camshaft. So, I uh, loaned out my trouble light the other day. So, yeah, that's... I don't know if I could run this thing with that cover off. But it'd be nice to see if I could see 
something bang in there. I'm gonna get the battery anyways here, maybe hook it up and just try to fire, not fire it up, but turn it over with the uh, the coil out there. We'll see if, see anything funny looking in there. They should be all good. But it could be one of those things tapping, right? That one there feels kind of loose. Which is weird because the valves up top were actually too tight. So I got them all to 14 thou, I think it was. 14, yeah. 14 to 16, I think it was. So anyways, let me get uh, get the battery here. and oh, Darn it, that's on the other side too, to cranking it. I should be able to trim it. Okay, this one sec. Okay, I got you up a bit higher here just so you can get above all the wiring and stuff here. Uh, make sure this thing's in neutral. I don't know if you guys will be able to see those very well or not. It's not the best of lights I got here, but let's, uh, where's the switch now? I don't know. I don't know if I could drive that, run that too long. There'd be oil all over the place, I think. Because it's supposed to drain down. Let's get you off the tripod here for a second. I guess the oil will come down and drain into the block back through there, but uh, I don't really think this is going to show me what I want to see, but this would uh, pour a pile of oil out here. I think if you ran her like that, she'd be out on the ground pretty quick. Uh, it's too bad. I'd like, to, I'd like to run her like that, but you can see the, uh, you know, where they come up and through, so I don't know if one of them has gone bad or what the hammering noise is, I'd really like to uh, try to run it like that, but I don't know if that's such a good idea. The oil just pouring out here, I think. Well, I'm game to try it anyways. I don't honestly know if that's going to, uh, to really show me anything other than a pile of oil coming out of here, but it'd be nice just to hear it for a second as long as it's not splashing all over the place, but let's give it a cranking up here and see I got her all hooked up here if it's gonna do too much mess I'll shut it off quick I'm just gonna, ooh, she's got a bit of smoke in here today. I think I'm just gonna drop that oil out. I don't know, that's, I don't really hear that noise right now, so it's like, what the crap? What the crap? That is so weird, but I guess I'll, for now I'll throw that cover back on, but you can see those, those rods all spinning as it's running, it's spinning, so it's moving. <sighs> weird. Weird, weird. But anyways, uh, a little bit of smoke in here now. I wasn't kind of doing that before. Uh -huh. Oh well. well. I'll throw that cover back on because I see the oil is just pouring out now. Look at her coming out. Oh geez.
it's pretty quiet up here. So we get to the back here. really hear it when it shuts off there. Let's try that again. Come on, baby, I think it's almost out of gas. Oh, there was an exhaust leak there. Did you see that? Hey, listen, listen really close. Tick, 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 tick. Something right there. But when I started that up, I saw a puff of stuff come out of here. Let's see if we can do that again. I know exactly what that noise is now. Okay, I gotta get out of here for a minute because it's really not good in here. <laughs> Holy cow, I'll have to open the other door. Okay, I guarantee you pretty much I know exactly what that noise is. Now that I think of it, I never even thought of it before. Stupid me, there's a little problem. Another problem that uh, I noticed under here and then I have to uh, take this valve cover off here again. I'll show you. I think I know exactly what that noise is now. Stupid me, I never even put the 10 and 10 together and got 12. So, yeah, that wasn't tight enough. These things are weird to tighten down because they have uh, rubber things under them there, right? I know exactly what that noise is. And I'm gonna have to see if I can find parts. Oh, maybe the tractor guy would have parts for this. Oh yeah, these have to come out, that's right. So in here, there's a couple oil lines. One that's loose, and I think it's banging on the lid. I'm willing to bet. I'm just gonna get this off real quick, so I can maybe eliminate that noise, that problem, that issue, and uh, see if that's what it's doing it or not. I bet you that's what it is. Under here, there's a, it's supposed to be another oil line actually comes out of here and then just drains into the block here. Let me get you off the TP here. Okay, valve drain, sweet. Yeah, there's supposed to be a little guy come off, off, and it just drains there and then drains back. And then this one comes up, it goes way down there, and it's actually loose. I guarantee you that's probably what that noise is. Something's off with this line, and that is supposed to shove down inside, and it's not even close. Oh my gosh, not one thing, it's 10. So, I bet you I'm gonna run it for a short time. Uh, is that still a nine? No, it's probably bigger. It's, oh, geez, bud. Okay, I'm just gonna take this oil line off briefly. Something's going on with it here, and I don't really know what. I noticed it when I uh, had this off the first time here. I'm like, something's not right with this, this oil line. I'm gonna see if I can maybe pick up two of those somewhere. So that comes out just like that. Don't wanna get that dirty. And this little guy, the retainer, holds it. And that just picks up and out, but that should fit in there. Quite a bit snugger, I think, than it does. Something's not right with that. If it's about there, it actually should fit down more, like in there. So something's not right. But anyways, there's your line. I'm just going to run it briefly like that, not right along. I just want to see if the uh, if that noise disappears. 
or what. But there's a lot of oil comes up out of this one and probably this one here. Unless it's supposed to maybe come up out of this hole through that line and then into here. But you know what, I'm willing to bet that we're probably going to lose our noise here. So, let's just crank this down again. And I've gapped all these, they all were actually a bit too tight. I should hold that for a minute. And we'll plunk this guy back together so we don't get oil all over the place, because it actually does, almost 50 PSI comes shooting up out of the holes there, she's pretty darn good. And I'm willing to bet, hopefully I got enough gas left in the little tank there. I'm willing to bet that our noise is probably stopped. So I bet you it's that. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Been wrong before. I'll admit it. But that could be one thing that's making a noise there. Definitely doesn't feel like it's sitting in there right. So I might have to contact my uh, fellers there and see if I can get a couple of new lines. Ooh, that's not the right size. What I do with it? 16s. Okay. See if this has fixed it. I'm gonna come over here, right? Oh, something wrong there. I'm gonna have to get new lines, but I don't really have any gas left in here, so I don't know how much longer this is gonna run for. But let's give her a quick fire up here. Okay, well that's good. That's not cut here. We'll uh, take the cover off. Take the cover off. Put that line back in there. And we'll fire it up again. We'll see if we got noise. I'm thinking that's what it is. It didn't ever seem to do it. Like I sort of makes sense now. It never seemed to make that noise. The ticking noise when uh oh a cow what the heck i didn't put it on that tight sorry i never uh i never seemed to make that ticking noise until the oil pressure kind of got up and i think it's pushing on that thing something's not right there it's not fitting right or god sakes it could be the wrong whole thing so i'm gonna have to see the other one i could probably make although there is a weird There's a weird little flare on it there, and I don't think I could do that. I could maybe try to make one heat it up. That's just got to hold onto that retainer thing there. I could probably make one of them. The other one, uh, it's got a gasket on the end of it. I should show you that, I guess. It's got a gasket on the end of it and stuff, and I don't think I can make that one. But Okay, let's get the 916s. Where did it go? Nope. Um, yep. I didn't want to run that too long like that. But uh, with that line, it doesn't seem to be hooked to anything anyway, so <laughs> they're supposed to actually jam right down in there really good. It's supposed to be in there really tight, so why it's not, I don't really know. And then there is a, a little rubber rosher thing on there, but I'm thinking that it's not. Yeah, I can feel the resistance there, but that's not deep enough. It's not right. That's not bad there, but something, something, something's not right with this oil line. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can maybe get a replacement one or something. doesn't feel like it's down far enough. 
But all that little bubble in that thing, all it does is hold that in with these little, there's little clips there. But this one's totally missing, so, I mean, that's probably not a good thing. I'm going to bet it's just doing that. Now, it's going to shoot a bunch of oil up if I start it up with the cover off here. It comes out of here pretty good. So I don't know whether that's such a good idea. I don't know how far up that'll shoot, but I'd like to be able to see this maybe moving in there and kind of confirm. Looks like it's solid there, but I don't think that's... I don't think that's sitting down where it should be. I think that little rubber o-ring there needs to be replaced and changed too, but... You can see it just doing that, it's squirting out the thing here. Of that one, so... And it really doesn't seem to be a whole bunch of oil down on this end of the rockers here, so... I don't know if this is blocked up or something. It's supposed to, I think... Comes up here, down through here, it should go through here, then exit here, and then back to the block. So, it is coming out of here, so maybe it's working, but... Something's loose there, I don't know what it is, but... Let's, uh, let's fire this up just briefly. As I imagine the oil will go all over the place. And I'll get ready on the key here. And hopefully you guys don't get covered in oil because that would suck. Come on, baby. Might be a gas. Might be out of gas. You can see, can you guys see the oil spurting out of here? Yeah. And it's got pretty good oil pressure, that's one thing. That's what it's doing, it's coming out of here, I think. Oh, I'm out of gas. So something's wrong here. I don't know what it is. I don't know, maybe the cover's supposed to push down on that? To hold that? I'm not really sure, but... I think I'm definitely out of gas. So anyways, I think we've kind of narrowed down. It's just banging like that, but well, let's have a look on the inside of the cover here. See that uh, goes there, so it should be now. There's a little, a little spot right there that it's maybe banging on. Something's weird there though. whether I should uh... well this one's definitely missing so that's not a good thing I mean all, all in all I could probably make that I think if I heated up a piece of tube had it in the vise and then just heated it up and then kind of started hitting the top it might flare out that little thing enough to hold it I don't know <laughs> that's a special thing that they use to make that but this I think is the culprit Definitely not staying where it should, and I think that something's not right there. That shouldn't move like that. It feels like it's going. Uh, it feels like it's going down in that where it should be, but then it's moving too much. It seems like it's oh. Seems like it's moving too much, so I don't know. Something's something's wrong down there, I think. What though? I don't really know. But uh, maybe I'll see if I can get a couple new lines or something. Or some used ones, maybe. Let's take this little retainer off. Even it's got a little bit of a, a a bend in her. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent like that, but... So that's there, but if it's here, I just want to feel... She's a good long line anyways. Come on, you turd. You were going in there.
I can feel like I get it in the right spot. I can feel like it drops down there that little bit, and it feels like a fairly good seal. It's just funny that it, that they've got it such a big hole there that it moves that much. But I guess it's got to get that other piece out, the bottom piece, which is pretty much the size of size of that hole. But uh, I wonder if I could even just get. I wonder if that little rubber on there is kind of needing a replacement or something. But I think that's the noise right there. That's interesting. I don't know if I should get something and jam it down in the hole and then it might have a, something come loose and then it's all over the place then, right? That probably would be a good idea. Interesting. Wow. I don't know what else to do because all this moves here. It's not like you can oh, put a zip tie on there and hold it. Well, dude, that's not going to work. You're not going to do that. So, pretty sure that's down as far as it'll go in. Yeah, I think so. It's down just above the threads. That's in there, and it's yeah, it's about it. Boy, that's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a little light and look down the hole there and see what I can see. Look, buddy, I'm gonna use that light you gave me. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's pull this guy out again. Leave him up there, he won't fall over. Well, I don't see much. This basically looks like a, a tube that goes down. That's kind of about it some oily vapory stuff there and I don't really see much else down there I don't know I'm gonna have to see if I can source these out I guess maybe replace them and I can definitely feel it goes down and it's like solid and that's about perfect for where it mounts into there although it's a bit short That mounts in there pretty good, but then it's got to reach over a bit, so I don't know if I can stretch it out a bit that way. Still moving a lot. Because <sighs> I was actually, uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but it was actually like up and down pumping like that. I'm like, well, that's probably not a good thing. I think that uh, little washer in there is supposed to be a lot tighter than that and hold that from doing that. So I'm going to have to source this one and this little guy. This is just basically one that comes out and it just drains right on the top of the block here, on top of the head here, and it just kind of pulls back in. So, Okay, I'll have to look for that. And I guess for now, we'll just put all this back on, keep the debris out, and I think I'm going to drop the oil out of it tonight if I can get under there. I think uh, I better put that back together too, maybe. <laughs> Hang on a sec there. Just in case I happen to forget about that and fire it up and it's like, oh crap, now we've got bigger problems. So I'll touch base with my uh, tractor guy. Whoop, whoop, what'd you do, bud? I'm telling your mom. <laughs> And I'll see if maybe I can order just because the ones I'll probably get will be used. And uh, probably the, the ring will be just about as bad. I wonder if I can get them from Steiner or fix that Ford or something. They're going to be wicked expensive probably for shipping though. <laughs> I can only imagine. Okay, that should be all good. But that is definitely the noise. So that's giving me a bit of relief that it's not, you know, like something like a rod knocking or something silly like that. But I think we'll get the oil draining out tonight if I can get the
cover off, that is. Uh, I need the 916, where did I put them? It's here, there he is. Wicked tight on those because you can't warp them. 29 bill pounds, there we go. That ought to do that. Okay, uh, let's see. It's gonna be kind of dark under there to show you guys dropping the oil out of here, and I don't even know if I can get you down that low. Anywho, um, but let's, uh, let's have a look. It is very tight under here and I'm not a small person. <laughs> so, I don't know how well this is going to come off. Uh, hopefully good. Hopefully someone change all every six years. Oh, oh boy. That was way better than 2N. That 2N was freaking terrible. So I know I didn't run it long enough to get it really warm, but oh man, there's no screen on this one. Oh, what a freaking mess. There's usually a screen on these things. This one apparently no, not today there, bud. Well, that's all right, I guess. Okay, I'm all greasy anyways. I want to let this feel inside here. Oh, that's interesting. I can't feel anything. That must be the oil pickup. I just want to feel for a bunch of grimy stuff. Well, it's not great, but it's not as bad as I thought. All right, well, I guess I'll just leave this drain in here for a day or two. Let all that scrime come out, and I think then we're going to get the oil pan off and give her a cleaning. Get her all nice and clean again there, but I got a, I got a gasket for it. It's definitely got some problems up front with leaking, but that's not done through here, so that's not done through the oil pan area. Oh, what a mess, I gotta clean up, blah. What the crap, I'm stuck. while we're talking oil stuff I'll maybe pull this oil grease oil cup off of here and see what's going on I don't know what's going on with this it looks like someone's lost the other little retainer springy thing on the other side so they oh gee sorry my bad so they've just put the wire to it <laughs> hold it on which I guess works but so let's see here well, that solenoid sure is gummed up in there too. I'll probably get into there and do that too when I'm doing electrical stuff. So yeah, this one is totally missing over here. And we'll just see how... Oh, this is empty. <laughs> okay, and it's full of watery crap. Well, that's not a good thing. That means it's basically for how many long years has had no filtering. So now, I'd like to get it off and get the whole thing cleaned out, maybe. Wow, just patch the patches the patches, right? I love farmers. They're awesome because they just make her work. Get her working there, bud. Get her working. Okay, so that's a, a 916. So we might as well get this right off of here and uh, darn it I don't have a, a, my screwdriver right here to take the hose off and it needs new hoses too and I think I got them
Look at the blue paint though. Can anybody tell me what the blue paint is? Can you see the blue paint there on the top of that? I think it was a primer that they were using. The whole steering box has blue on it too though, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so that one's off. And there's another one hidden back in here. But I gotta go get a screwdriver first to get these loose. Okay, let's see. Nothing like the old slotted hose clamps. I might just change them. <laughs> Maybe. There's a lot of years of dirt. Oh yeah, that one's turning on me. Of course. Of course it is. A lot of years of dirt. And unfortunately, it looks like someone painted this at one time and left the dirt on. Which is not really usually a very good thing to do, but that's what they did, so. So this is pretty grimy. I'll show you quickly. Oh, geez, now I'm dropping it. This is pretty grimy inside of here, too. Yeah, not good. She might even just get a whole new canister. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll get. Well, I'll see how bad it is when I get looking at it here. Okay. But with no oil in there for a long time, probably that's not a good thing. Fine thread too. Fine threads. I love their fine threads. Okay. Now that should come off. And this should hopefully. Come off the tube. All right, what's underneath here? Oh, 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 oh. I got to get in better light to show you that. <laughs> I'm amazed that thing ran. Okay, well, there's the empty oil cup with some water in it. That should be filled up to, I think, um, yeah, the level there. So where that little embossment is in there, it should be filled up to like here. And ready for this. I'm surprised this thing ran. Look at the scrime in there. Oh man. That is not even right. Oh, and it's supposed to suck the air down through there, through the oil, and then up through here, through this element, and then into the engine. Wow. That is really bad. That is really bad. I don't know if that comes off of there or not, but I think there's another screen or something missing off of here too, but look at the scrime in there. Oh, boy, that might not be bad just to replace that whole thing and then uh, these things will be good again. Let's see if I can even find one to be expensive, I bet though, but uh, let's look it up on Fix That Forward maybe. Fix That Forward, pretty good site. A little slow shipping, but it's the times, right? So what do we got here? Uh, Ford 800, 900, 801, and 901. I think this is actually an 801, but uh, I'm not positive. Uh, what happened there? New guy on the phone. So rear axle, hydraulic engine, transmission cooling, fuel system, hydraulic pump, instrumental tractor seat, sheet metal. So it might be under, might be under engine. They don't seem to show a listing for air cleaner. Engine assembly inside. Manifold, muffler, semi-oil filter, governor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, they might not have this. Engine assembly outside. Let's try there. So there's that gasket that we just had the push rod cover off. There's the oil pan gasket. I got one of those. I don't have a head gasket, but I don't think we need to take the head off. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the screen. It should have that screen on. So that's missing too. That's the proper oil cap. Oh, no, I don't want to go to it. Come here now. Get back here. Oh, okay. So that's not good. They don't list that. Uh, come on now. Come on now. What the heck? Ford. 800. I just want to see how much it is if they even have it. Air 
filter. With that, I'll check Steiner's and see what they can get to, maybe. Uh-oh. Nothing. Okay, well. STP. See what they got. Uh, Ford. I think it's the same on the Jubilee and everything, so. 800. Let's just put an air. Air conditioning for the Ford 800. Well, there's the bottom cap. There's the tube. There's one of those ring things. I can maybe just fix that. There it is. $150! Wow. Might, not, might just have to do that, you know, because this one's uh, getting pretty darn rough here. Well, there it is. $150. Bucks. That's really not too bad, but time... Um, Powder coated red, Ford red, there you go. Wire mesh installed and oil cup, gas only. That's what we want. 54 to 57, this is a 56, I believe, so we're halfway there. And, uh, yeah, that looks like her. That looks like her. Yeah, there's no cover on that, I guess. Interesting, just wide open. Just wide open. So, I mean, um, I can probably clean this. It would be nice to have this other clip here. And I think they just kind of, I think they just kind of clip in. You just open those up, push it in there, and then it would just, that's your lock, right? Um, wow, I've got a, I got hose for that. That's all right. And that, well, I could put that in the pressure, pressure washer, parts washer, and this maybe let her soak. Keep running it through it. It might clean it out eventually. But uh, I don't know if these top covers come off of here. So it'd be nice. Uh, I don't think so. I think they're crimped around. Because that is super nasty in there. I don't know if you can see in there, but that is super not good. Honestly, for all it's worth, I might just order a new one for that. And then I get the clip, and she's all clean and new, ready to go. That would be a good little backup. Maybe I'll still maybe clean her, but something to think about anyways. 150 bucks US though. Oh boy, that's going to be, uh, well, let me just punch this through here kind of thing. And before I hit the, yeah, buy it now, let's see how much they want to ship that. Well, there's Economy to Canada, $70.95 US. Premium to Canada is $9 more. And I don't think it, well, there it is, 14 days. So two weeks for the $70 one. And seven days from Christmas and stuff here right now that's going to mess that up. Is 80 bucks to ship it US. Holy. And then I'd have to pay uh, duty on that, which wouldn't be too bad for that part. But I might just have to do that because this thing's in pretty rough shape. Holy geez, I can't believe that engine is running. Wow, that's insane. Probably hasn't had oil for years. Lots of water though. Well, I looked on Steiner there and fixed that Ford for that those tubes, those oil little oil tubes. Don't even list anything for that, so I don't know what I'm going to do there, but uh, maybe I'll trap my tractor guy over here and see if he's got a, one that's been torn apart or whatever, and then he might have they got parts like you wouldn't believe. Or you guys saw the video. If you haven't seen the video, look at that. Holy cow. That place is, like, friggin' amazing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'll maybe give him a buzz and see if he can get me those oil tubes, and uh, uh, hopefully the ring is good on that other one that I get from him. If not, I'll have to maybe see if I can find a ring. I might have to go to uh, like the New Holland dealership is where you get parts now for that. They might be able to order it. It's probably going to be like $500 for a little rubber ring. but uh, You need her to hold her in, I think. But uh, anyways, I guess that's about as far as I can go today with that. Uh, I didn't get the oil filter off of that, but I'll do that uh, another time. I don't have to do that right now. So I'm just going to let that all drain out real good for a couple of few days, and then uh, I think we'll pop that pan off and have a look there and clean out the pan all it's probably pretty grimed up so um but anyway that's it for today thanks again for watching we'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day